I encourage all of you to give as generously as possible to that uh, offering. And uh, we're going to watch a video on a pastor that is uh, whose, whose church is uh, working with a, a unreached people group. And if you've read the week of prayer, you've read uh, today, or we'll be reading today about a church in Arkansas, who has also worked with a non-reached people group. Um, back as they began praying for that church six, seven years ago, and it was only this past year that they began to see a work. So the longevity in prayer, I mean, sometimes God works like that. Sometimes he works, you know, he gives several years. The fact is, the eternity is all like that anyway. But the reality is, God sometimes calls us to pray, and pray, and pray, and continue to pray. We need to remain faithful to what God calls us to pray for. Because if God calls us to do something like that, it's going to happen. So let's pray for this offering. I'll lift up this, Lord, we thank you for who you are and for all that you do. We thank you for this worship service that we have, uh, that we have an opportunity to be a part of. Father, we pray for this offering, especially the uh, Lottie Moon Christmas offering that we are taking up, Lord. And Father, we pray for that, that not only this church shall reach the goal, but we reach a goal as the Southern Baptist Convention as well. And Father, that we see this, uh, this, these resources uh, be sent off and to do what you want, them, want it to happen, Lord. Father, for the missionaries that we have right now in 4,800, um, We'd love to see that number go up and be able to uh, afford to be able to put them out there, Father, for, for the people that you have called to go out you know, to these other nations and other people groups all over the world to reach out. We thank you for that work. I mean, we know that we're supporting other organizations too, like Gospel for Asia and, and uh, Smart Person Operation Christmas Child and, and wonderful resources going on there. Father, we do pray and we do thank you or how you've used all of these organizations that, that work together oftentimes. But, but uh, Lord, we do thank you. We do thank you for your calling on people's lives and to ministry, to being a missionary, and to uh, service in this way. Father, you've called all of us as Christians. When you've, when you've saved us, Lord, when you've given us salvation, we have a responsibility to go and make disciples of all people groups of all nations. <clears throat> that is a responsibility that we have and it starts right here. We do pray that we want to be mindful of that and be motivated to reach in your name. Father, we thank you for this offering and we thank you for the ones who are giving, Lord. And Father, we all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Last year, I had the opportunity to interact with an um, RMH people group, and it was, it was such a joy to be able to do that and be with some of our workers on the field and as they showed us different areas where where our RMH people group um, was located. And so we went to minister to them. And, um, one story, we, we walked into this uh, farming area with a Muslim gentleman, and he was wearing a John 316 cap on his head. And he did not know what that cap meant. He did not know what type of hat he was wearing. But it was a springboard. And we sat there and shared the gospel off of his baseball cap. And it was just a phenomenal opportunity. Just I just laughed at how God really does want to reach this people group. And he is going to do everything it takes to reach this people group. And that just, just to think that I was sitting there sharing the gospel with um, a group uh, of men that our church has been praying for, that our workers have been partnered with. I've watched with my own eyes uh, a, a national in a region accept Christ as his Lord and Savior. And he then becomes the church planter and the discipler in all of these villages around. And, and there was just nothing more exciting to know that our workers on the field, those boots on the ground, lead this gentleman to Christ. Then this gentleman is going out and he's starting churches among his own people. One of the reasons why I love being a Southern Baptist church and a Southern Baptist pastor is there is no way that my church by itself could ever 
do as much international missions in reaching the world on our own. But what I love about the Lightning Christmas offering and what I love about the cooperative program, it's not about just us. It is biblical that we do it together and that we partner together, that we do it together. I love that we're all autonomous churches. We all have our own personalities as churches. But when it comes to world evangelism, Southern Baptists get on the same page and we say it's that important. It's that important for the kingdom. It's that important for eternity that we're going to support our workers on the field. We're going to give the Lion New Christmas offering knowing that 100% of those funds go straight to our workers. And we're going to give through the cooperative program because it supports missions at every single level. And we can't do it on our own. We partner together to do it. And that is exciting. And that's what we're about. Thank you. 